out on the South Valley with record temperature seen yesterday all across the Channel 7 viewing area. Expect more of the same today with highs in the mid-90s across the triad. Also, this just in, a severe air quality alert has been issued for the entire Channel 7 viewing area as warm temperatures, stagnant air, and light winds are expected to lead to unhealthy air conditions. Folks with breathing problems... This is bad. The ER is over one of the asthma cases. I need to get a room for this kid, Stat. We don't have He's got asthma. Available. His lungs are closing. Call somebody now. And anyone experiencing respiratory symptoms may wish to consult their doctors. But when we come back, Gloria Vasquez takes us. Great. Well, let's see how the tests come back, and we'll monitor his progress. By the way, did you see the air quality alert? Yes, and I've already informed the nurses at your patient's schools. They'll be patched into their classroom online so they can do their work without having to go outside. Excellent. Hi, Amy. How are you feeling? Yeah, hanging in there. Well, the data uploaded by your inhaler shows a big increase in usage. Let's get a reading on a spirometer. Yeah. Hi, we have Amy here. Could we get a refill on our prescription? Sure. We can update Amy's prescription and add it to the urgent delivery list. Thank you. Amy, could I confirm your address, please? Sure. Thank you. The system has flagged these patients who are only using their rescue inhalers. All right, let's work to get them back on their regular medications. Uh, start with the high priority patients with the worst trends. Okay. Refills for housebound clients have already been scheduled for delivery by late morning. Great. Jeff, the systems integrations that you championed are totally paying off. Asthma emissions are way down. I mean, do you remember the last air quality alert that we dealt with? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I was taking my son to school when I received these alerts about picking up his rescue inhaler. Oh, yeah, I can check that for you. Thank you. Oh, and I also wanted to talk to you about the status of EHR integration.